Yo, what is up everyone? This is the Twice Over Film Club and I'm your host Faraz. Today we got our preview for Before Sunrise. This episode has no spoilers, so after listening, go watch the film and join us for our discussion next week. Remember to check out the TheTwiceOver.com to see all the films that we've reviewed so far and how the tallies stack up against one another. And follow us on all the socials at the TheTwiceOver. That's where you can keep up with us on what we're currently watching, and if you have any movie suggestions, just hit us up and let us know. Alright, it's myself, Farhan, and Fahad for this one. Alright, let's get started. Um, this movie is directed by Richie Linklater. Link- <laughs> Bahad Farhan, what's up, guys? What's up? Hey, hey, what's going on? Good to be back, man. Farhan, we're doing Before Sunrise, one of your favorite yes. movies of all time, and you wanted yes. us to watch it. This was my first wa- time watching this movie. Was this your first time hearing about the movie, Fahad? No, I heard it a while ago, like, I don't know, 15 years ago. I just kept putting it off. And maybe it would have been better watching it, um... As a, years ago? A, yeah, as a college student or a high school student. Um, well, here's a here's the thing. I mean, I mean, Fraz. I mean, I feel like most people wouldn't have, would not have heard of these any of these movies. This one, or before sunset, or before midnight. It's accurate not, statement. Well, maybe they would have heard about it because I feel like a lot of people learned about Richard Linklater when uh, when Boyhood came out, like in what 2015 or something. And mm, I think yeah. I think uh, people like looked into his, you know, filmography and found his other stuff because I remember a lot of people talking about Boyhood because that was like what filmed over like 12 years. um, Right. Super unique. It got a lot of attention. Um, Yeah. But yeah, it's not also with Ethan Hawke and also with Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But funny story, Farhan, I don't know if you remember this. Like, obviously, we watched this, I don't know, high school, maybe college. Yeah. Um, I think we definitely watched it in high school, actually. No, no, no. It was college. Was it? It would have been college. It would have been one of our family video uh, <laughs> uh, escapades. Why would it be during college and high schools when we had our uh, report cards for one dollar rentals? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you had your you had a membership with family video, and we used to we used to get like um, that was when you you were at UIC, yeah, and I would just come over to your house yeah, and be like, "Hey, I'm here." Probably was. We'd but go to case- Meyer. We'd get our snacks. We'd go to family video, get some movies, but. I wasn't that much in. I wasn't um, into movies that much in high school as much as I was in our first second years of college. Gotcha. So this was definitely in that time frame. So Fahad, the story yeah. goes. Well, this actually happened. Well, we became fans of the movies like Before Sunrise and Sunset right when we watched it. Um, so we went out and watched Before Midnight in the theaters. And the funny thing is, like at the end of the movie, you know, when the lights turn back on, we're about to leave. It's yeah. literally me and Farhan, two brown kids in their, you know, early 20s. And uh-huh. everyone else is a 60 plus year old white couple. Yeah. Literally. Wow. This is true. There weren't even any young couples. Just No, literally couples. 60 plus years old white couples. And then me and Farhan who went to watch Before Midnight. But this kind of, you know what though? This is a kind of a brilliant uh, way to sum up this movie, which is this. If you're... The popular, the, um, I'm going to say the layperson will never have heard of this movie. If you're into movies, you will have heard of this movie. You might have even watched it. But if you are, if you are a fan of the series, then you are a diehard cult fan. Yeah. Like I am. Yeah. Like Faraz is. Um, a cult where fan? We liter- you I would, a cult, yeah. There's like a cult following to these oh, movies. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. And... You know, and I'll explain exactly. I'll explain as much as I can why I well I, why I think that is so. You know, throughout our discussion, but this is just one of those movies that people. Some people have said this is the best romance movie of all time. One hundred percent. And it is right. Yeah, do, you, do you agree? Is. Faraz agrees. There's yeah. No, I. Okay, whatever. I don't want to get too much into like how much I hate other movies. Um, right. But like this is just so far ahead of them in every not in every way, but in in the ways that matter for a romance movie. Well, in the ways that Renner for, I guess so this is not your typical chick flick, right? Because that's what people think of romance movie it has to be a chick flick. This is not your typical chick flick, but you know, in, in terms of like not being able to see the process, like Fraz, we're always talking about that, right? Yeah. This movie, nothing tops it in terms of in ro- in the romance genre. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the movie or who it who's in it. Ethan Hawke, sure. Julie uh, Delpy. That's really all you need to know. They are ninety nine percent of the screen time. Um, 
It's from 1995, so it is a bit old now. Directed by Richard Linklater. And Fahad, I have a strong feeling you're not going to agree with me and Farhan in a lot of ways. Me too. <laughs> yeah, because in our message group, I was you guys were discussing reviewing the other two movies part of this three movie series and i was like put the brakes on <laughs> let's discuss and that's this. fine yeah and that's totally that's totally fine i mean i'm i'm going to acknowledge that this is n- it's not for everybody a- at all yeah. you know yeah um but you know what surprised I, me mm-hmm. i generally like talky movies i like when movies do something unconventional right and i've seen other uh, link later movies um waking life it's it's another movie where it's just a series mm-hmm. of conversations. Yeah. Um, that was complete. That that was a different genre because that's not romance, but it was just a it's that like a put you into almost, a dreamscape. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they sense a bunch of, of interviews. Right. Yeah. And that's the, uh, that's that's uh, what's the what's the actor's name? That's his best movie to date, and he's not. It's not. It's it's anime. <laughs> the animation, at least. It, it's not animation, is it? It's. I thought it was yeah. filmed, and then it was like it's filmed, and then there's like a, a yeah a filter applied like to a it. filter yeah, yeah. <laughs> like drawn on top of it maybe traced yeah right all right yeah so Fahad yeah let's see how we fell with our scores and then okay. we'll get into our discussion sure all right for narrative I give it a fifty uh, sixty I give it a seventy wow really. <laughs> 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 okay okay i'm enjoying this writing i give it 100 95 65 all right acting okay. i gave it 95 95 75 themes i gave it an 85 95 65 aesthetics i gave it a 75 70 65 so Fahad, okay. you weren't that harsh <laughs> i wa- i mean i guess You're my narrative score was be. just uh just off of your scores yeah, really. but everything I'm else I was you very felt critical that it was an average narrative. Yeah, I'm surprised by that actually. Thanks for listening to this production of the Twice Over. If you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing and sharing it with a friend. Want to see what your tally is? Check out thetwiceover.com. All the movies we've done are listed there, as well as what we're watching for the current week. Follow us at the Twice Over on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, where you can leave us any suggestions, feedback, or comments. And if you're about it, you can also support us on Patreon. The music you hear on this podcast is from Amerigo Gazaway. You can find his work on Bandcamp and Spotify. 